Hi. Hi. We're about to film a couple episodes and we can't remember Heidi's Heidi's coworker. coworker. I call her Amber. She replaced Elodie. She's the new Elodie. What's her real name? nowhere to be found on Google. I even looked it up. Go to IMDb. 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 (laughs) No, not the IMDb Pro. They're trying to get you, man. They're always trying to get you. I know. We have so many subscriptions. We just paid $14.99 for HBO Max, I I think, just to watch one show. Seriously? Yeah, we have to get rid of all that stuff. What I need is a whole wipe of all of these that we don't need. I don't need you in my pocket every month. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be on this episode, let's hope, unless they're in Cabo, but Heidi's definitely not in Cabo, no. so maybe they're she'll not be in Cabo it. anymore. Oh, they're home. We'll see, but first, I have some channel news. Welcome to the news. Not caring what people think. Mm -hmm. People are like, it's so great that you guys don't care what people think anymore. Like, we're so happy. Oh, good. So I wanted to do an investigative report as to like what happened and why you feel that way. I think two things. One was personal. I think that I have just started to become more confident in us doing this. And so I'm just like stopping caring what other people think. But the other part is like, I feel like my journey on the hills is pretty much over, like in terms of being a cast member on the hills. So you're not afraid that anyone's gonna like yell at you? Yeah, I'm not afraid that anyone's gonna yell at me. The first piece of channel news that I wanna talk about that people have been putting in the comments a lot is like, why are there very few to no people of color in the cast? And I thought about this a lot. First of all, for the hills, I, I don't know, but for the city, I was involved in the casting in between seasons we would like go out to clubs and look for people. And the mandate was like first and foremost to find like telegenic people. It's hard to say, but if you weren't like good looking, you weren't gonna get past that first rung. That could be messed up for its own reasons, fine. But like the producers decided that that was the number one priority. Like after that, we were looking for people who would like drive story, like bring drama, like all that kind of stuff. And I think if we had found a person of color or whatever, they totally would have been cast in the show if they if they checked those other boxes. Mm-hmm. I, I think the issue was that at least the city sort of reflected what was happening at the time in fashion. It was a very like homogeneous pool of, mm-hmm. of people to pull from. And I think while the city was a good show, like it it because it reflected culture, it would have been a like great show if it had driven culture. So mm-hmm. if the producers say, you know what, like fashion is missing diversity mm-hmm. and we're gonna do a show about fashion, like let's highlight yeah. like the fact that it's missing diversity mm-hmm. and and cast someone who's diverse so we can see fashion from a different perspective, thus giving like a more uh, clear, like, well-rounded version of of the world and, like, propel it to be more diverse. We were a good show, but we stopped short of being a great show because we didn't tackle, like, those issues. Mm-hmm. But there was never any, like, you know, don't cast any black people. Like, it was just go and find the best-looking, like, craziest people you could find. I mean, yeah. not necessarily craziest, but, like... People who would drive story. Mm -hmm. I think coming from the hills, it was likely, it was a spinoff of Laguna Beach, which is obviously like a very white city. And it was cast with like Lauren and all her friends from this high school that, that that's the school that they were from. And I think that then the Hills was just that group of friends. Yeah. Um, I, I think it was before the time where like, where people were considering like having people from different backgrounds as yeah. part of their cast. They, they were just, just like, we're doing a, a show about Laguna Beach and here are the people that live in Laguna Beach. Right. And we don't live in those times anymore. Yeah. I can't say that that's the the end all be all of the conversation, but just our two cents. Mm-hmm. Huba stank. Per that, yeah. People I know, it's angry. not Incubus. People were like, Incubus is so much better than Huba stank. And I was like, whatever you want to say about Huba stank, fine, but that song is good. Huba stank may not be as good as Incubus, but that song is great. And like, Incubus might, I mean, they might as well just sing that song. That's like. what I'm saying. My pillow search. Um, I got some feedback. Well, yeah, people were like, at the purple pillow, Tempurpedic, this is what I like. And then you can tell me how to find it. I like a firm pillow and I like it to be cold. But I don't like the Tempur-Pedic because it's like, maybe it's too firm or it's all one. 
consistency uh-huh. that makes i think it's too dense for you it might be too dense. when you're talking about firm like how firm are we talking i feel like people need a little bit more de- detail that firm maybe like slightly less firm mm-hmm. what i don't like is when the pillow is not firm enough so because i sleep like this with the pillow here and if the pillow isn't firm enough my head just goes right down to the thing and then like my bone gets sore mm-hmm. i don't want bone soreness i think the best thing to do is just to go to a department store and try out a bunch. Mm, just like go like this and then go like that. They have beds there. You can like go lay on. COVID's over. I'm sure they'll allow you the band. COVID's <laughs> over. <on> COVID's <laughs> over. Let's do merch. I am wearing a great tee that's available for you to buy now. I and mean, you should go check out merchdudes.com. But we're also working on merch round three, but we need a new graphic designer, the wonderful Kelly. Gerard? Yeah. Gerard? Gerard, I think. She quit on us. She. <laughs> Our artwork was getting really detailed, and I think she just didn't have enough time anymore. Fair enough. This has like 20 different locations she did a lot with of work. detailed drawings of each location, like quotes. We make a lot of changes, we do a lot of rounds of editing. <sighs> So Editing. if you feel like you can handle that. It's easy. You can handle it. Join us. Send an email to hey at whitneyport.com with the subject graphic, graphic designer hashtag 69. All right. <laughs> and that's the channel news. Peace in the streets. Nice. Now let's do a show. Let's do a show. Where's the volume controller? Oh my god, Whitney, that's my private zone. Previously on The Skrillex. Stephanie and Brody were not getting along. I've known you for a long time. Yeah. And I know how crazy you are. And after she went She was kind of like, yeah. Like, are you gonna say something nice? <laughs> like, and you're great. I've known you for a long time. And you sucked all those years. <laughs> with Doug, things only got worse. I wasn't trying to hook up with her. I wasn't trying to date her. I was trying to help the girl out. Oh, no. Lost puppy. <laughs> like, I just never want to hang out with Doug or Brody ever again if they're just going to do this. But now Stephanie had a new... Oh, right. Cameron. His shirt said death wish. So have you met Brody and them? Did you know that Brody made Stephanie cry? You're making yourself cry. Karina got back together with her old flame, Corey. Corey. Hi. Hi. Corey, you remember Corey? How are you? I was gonna say, Corey came out wearing different clothes from the night before. Did he plan to sleep at Audrina's house? Yeah, maybe he packed a sleepover bag. Presumptuous. Justin Bobby's uh, cutoff jean shorts aren't buttoned. <laughs> she still had to deal with I Jason. definitely own those. He left me for another guy. You don't wanna be exclusive with anyone. Oh, when? Whenever you're ready to grow up, come and talk. And by now, she was over Justin's games. That wasn't like a good, like, F you lie. She should have been like, Justin, you're immature, like, see you later. But she was like, if you want to grow up, then like, we can, con- you can continue stringing me along <laughs> because, later. So because that's how she feels. Oh, like, yeah. Audrina's so nice and so, like, she really also c- really connected to. Yeah, she really likes them. What was weird is, like, so the first season of The Hills New Beginnings, everyone was like, enough with Justin and Audrina. Like, we're so sick of this storyline. Yeah. And then this season, they don't even show them ever, like, say anything to each other. The pendulum like a, swing is, are so heavy. You know like what I mean? Like a middle ground. A middle ground. Yeah. Stop swinging so much. All right, let's check out what's happening at Sony, Sony. Boner Music Group. <laughs> Kiara, I heard she had a baby. Oh, cool. I said that um, we are gonna have to go into the studio with Brandy later this week. That's cool. Yeah, being in the studio is like. You just kind of forget about everything else. <laughs> you, you're on a forgetting everything. I'm kick. really on a forgetting kick. <laughs> so Cabo was that bad, huh? Justin was just being a jerk. He was torturing me, and just he knows how to do that. He knows like which. Buttons to push. How to push my buttons, get under my skin. It doesn't seem like he's interested in really being with you unless it's some kind of game. Yeah. Well, he just likes knowing that whenever I do start dating someone, he gets me back and then he drops me and I'm hurt and then I go find someone. It's like the same thing. And I can't keep jumping from one. Did you have feelings? No, I'm just like, <laughs> I need Audrina to start believing in herself and yeah. acting on this. Yeah. Relationship right to the next. Adrina, I think you're starting to figure things out a little bit. After how long? God. <laughs> At the 
blank before, before you we're going to Laguna Beach this windows. weekend. I know we are. Should so, we visit? Oh no, this is the hills. <laughs> well, did you want to visit stuff on my shirt? Merch dudes, merch dudes. Yeah, I want to visit. Um, maybe there's a Star Tours. Oh, and I wanted to know about her. Uh huh. And um, someone was like, my boyfriend dated her in high school, and she's really sweet and has a baby. No. <laughs> Karen Someone Kiara. knew Hollis? No, that's not Hollis. Oh. That's, we don't know her name. Oh, but she's and famous. someone just knew her? Yeah. <gasps> Crazy. Were you, about, were you about to say something about Laguna Beach? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I just, I, it's interesting how little I know about it, considering how many people actually think I'm from there. Right, right. I know more about Newport Beach than Laguna Beach because my best friend has a house there. But Laguna's a mystery to me, and I'm excited to check it out. The episode is called, I Want You To Be With Me. The Wedbush Building. Mm, love it, that's downtown. Foam, diamond, fabric. I miss going to fabric shops. The assignment is to get fabric samples for our next class. How many do we have to turn in? I'd like some more specific assignment details. Prints and two solids. Here you go. I didn't miss anything like super important, right? Oh yeah, how was Cabo? You really didn't miss that much. Um, I can't say I had as much fun as the guys. Um, why the guys partied hard? Yeah, they just like flew in a shipment of girls though. It was really funny. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Why did Doug fly in girls? Um, because I don't know, boys like girls, and it was Brody's birthday. Speaking of boys. Stephanie's like, I'm just, I'm trying to get on your page. Were you upset about it or not? Like, I'll hate on it with you, but you're leaving me out to dress. Mm -hmm. I've told you about Cameron, right? A little bit. Are you guys like together together now? Yay. We had the talk. The talk? The talk. It's such a step. But you guys will really like him. He's cute. No, I'm not gonna meet him. I wanna meet him. I know. I think we're gonna do Crown while well, I like, wanna go. Crown bar? Yeah. Let's do it. Um, the only thing is I think Brody's gonna go. At least I'll have like protection if Brody like says anything to me. He's he has to stand up for you, I think. Cause yeah, Brody did make me cry. But like he just met Spencer and Spencer's like just totally giving him like to stand up and like protect me or whatever. It'll be fine. We'll have fun. I don't know if it will be fine. No, no. <laughs> no I don't know if it will be. Well, that's bright. I know. Really bright. bright. She's like, oh, I'm not actually doing this assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. What are you reading on Audible right now? Nothing. Because you're listening. 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 I actually straight up love Audible because I'm a terrible reader and I always get distracted or tired. Now that I have started listening to books on Audible, I've read like five books in the last like two months. Right now I'm reading Sapiens. Ooh, Timmy does this thing where he has a loop around our house and he exercises and he puts his ear pods in and he listens to his book on Audible. Mm -hmm. And I'm so inspired by this that I started downloading my books on Audible and I'm actually halfway through a book that I just started three weeks ago and that's major for me. I haven't read a whole book I feel like in years. You know what? <clears throat> this summer is gonna rule. I agree. Because last summer did not rule. That's true. Because we were in quarantine, but this summer is gonna rule. We're gonna go places, and we're gonna pack a cooler, and we're gonna bring a blanket, and I'm not gonna forget my earbuds so I can hook up my Audible. And that's all you really need. You, got, you don't have to pack any books anymore, no. like lug a bunch of I stuff. I ain't lugging nothing. So as an Audible member, you pick one title a month, and then that title is yours forever. Unless you're an insanely amazing, efficient listener, you probably are only gonna need like a book a month, right? No way, dog. No? No. You need more. I. I'm enjoying Audible so much, I'm getting through more than one book a month. That's amazing. Yes. Here's the best part. You also get full access to Audible streaming library, the Plus catalog. You can check out things like podcasts or that audiobook that you've been wanting to check off your bucket list or any original content from celebrity creators. So many different things to choose from. It's a lot more than just books. Uh, so much more. Right now, for a limited time, Amazon Prime members can save 53% on four months of Audible. That's only $6.95 a month. Isn't that awesome? You do that math in your head.
If you're not an Amazon Prime member, what are you what waiting planet? for? What planet? I do, seriously. <laughs> Go to Amazon and sign up so you can get this deal and so much more. What am I reading on Audible? Let's check it out right now. Look, here's what I do to find my Audible on my phone. I swipe to the left, I go to the search box, I type in Audible, there it is. I'm on four hours and three minutes left of The Wreckage of My Presence by Casey Wilson. It's really good. The Wreckage um, of My Presence? Mm -hmm. She sounds like a problem. <laughs> That's why she wrote a book. Can I just say I love Audible so much? Your it's on the first of your phone. <laughs> page of my phone, not in any folder, front, page. It's prime Front real page estate. access. So, and when I scroll down and it shows me my most used apps, it's right there. So this is so perfect that we're doing an ad with them. Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> Get more out of summer You're with Audible. To take advantage of this limited time offer, go to audible.com slash port. That's audible.com slash port. P-O-R-T. Like airport without the air. <laughs> like Whitney port. Without the Whitney. But ex yeah. Audible.com slash port. Go check it out. Happy reading, happy listening. Happy learning. And then happy living, I think is the full circle on that one. Audible. Peace in the streets. We need some heat up in this pool. It's too hot outside to heat it. Why oh, are you guys hanging out? Princess? They're friends, you know? Why aren't you not in your bikini? You I am under here. So, I invited Steph to go to Crown Bar tomorrow night. Oh, you think we be new besties again? I mean, we just, are you like, I don't know. Well, I mean, you know. It's like the producers are making me do seeds of thought. All BS aside, Stephanie is actually in a really good relationship for once and she's really happy. Good for her. I'm happy for her. I just don't understand how you have not seen it yet, how you don't like, how do you not see that she shaded? She did all that thing with Doug. It's like, she's not the kind of person I like to surround myself with. I don't need you to be your best friend, Brody. I, I just think everyone's gonna be so much more comfortable if you guys just get along. I just don't wanna hang out with her. I know, but listen, part of her problem is that- <laughs> Yeah, why is he getting so heated? Saying that Cameron isn't standing up for her with you. You know what? Please, God, I would love for Cameron to say one thing to me. I'll be like, listen, homie, why don't I pull you outside and tell you a couple things about your little girlfriend here you don't know? Like, hey, please. Lighten up. And if, no, I'm. Well, what was the other option? I... Physical violence? If not, I'm gonna murder him. I've never <laughs> even met him. My like, God, help. Um. Oh! Yes! Lauren! Cool him off. This is gonna be war. Dude, the symmetry between those two and Justin, Bobby, and Audrina in the pushes in the pool. Really beautiful filmmaking. My hands are too moisturized to make snap noises. Gotcha. You're doing it all the time. Can you go this loose with your wrist? It feels kind of good to just like. Just shake it out. <laughs> Everyone at home, just do this with us. Can you go like this? <laughs> yeah, I could do that. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I'm, I could do like a little facial, you know, like that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, great, great, great. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. All right. In My eye was twitching. Mm. That means you're tired or stressed. No, I'm fine in both. I'm fine and both. <laughs> it's nice to be around you. No. Pablo is fun. How long were you there for? Um, what? The f he was invited. He was full on invited to Cabo and said he was gonna go. Oh yeah, you're in right. In the kitchen, he was like, "Yeah, I'll be there." Yeah. I'll hang out for sure. Ooh, it's super winding. It is. It looks like hurricane weather. We don't really get hurricanes here no, in Southern California. But this is weird. But we do get the Santa Ana winds, which mm. are rolling down through the valley. Oh, Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Don't and stop. <laughs> it was if it was just for the weekend. Who went? Why didn't I get to go? Why didn't Winnie get invited? I don't know what. I'm fun in Cabo. Justin and Justin. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah tell it. Get away to Cabo. It wasn't a romantic guy. Yeah, I'm like, you know how that story goes. Oh. He has every right to be upset. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why everybody like invited us to <laughs> Me and Lauren, we, we shared a room. Of course she did. Ooh, is he gonna get upset? Me either, really. Like, yeah. Awesome. She has to explain why why his invite was rescinded, mm -hmm. and then have been like Justin was there, but look, like like nothing happened. I, I know that him and I had of the past, but like I want nothing to do with him, and like I want to give it a shot with you. I don't think she knows if she feels that way well, though. Then he has every right to be upset, upset, yeah, and for, for dinner sure. to be awkward. Yeah. <sighs> Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Crown. Oh, I've been waiting for a crown. <laughs> yeah, night. I'm dying to get a crown right now. Uh, I'll take your Porsche. Should we one... pregame? Yeah, you want to say? Should have at the commercial break. Yeah. Kettle, wedges, booths, lighting, wallpaper. black dresses, aqua dates. Did they steal the wallpaper from Les Deux? <laughs> that kind of baroque thing was very in fashion. Oh. Up with his face. Really not that exciting. Ooh, really not that exciting. I don't know who else is coming. When I told you a little bit about Brody and I. Ooh, he's like, yeah, I don't want to. I'm sorry, I'm talking to him. My girlfriend, that's what will make me more awkward than people talk to me like that, so I just, you know what I mean? Hello. They use this song on the city? Poor guy's in an untenable situation. Mm -hmm. Low. Who's low with? I didn't see. Kata? Looks cute together. Like, you're like a cute, like, couple. Thank you. You know Brody's coming? No. Do you? I really want to see him, though. I want him to see me and just back by each of He's preparing. Yeah. Mentally. Are you having fun? That's all about? I don't think it seems unseemly fun. Uh-uh. There's too much light on them. I don't want to go to Crown anymore. No, no, let's not go. Are you going to talk to him? What? Stephanie's just set this whole situation yeah. up for B. Right? I don't want to now. Yeah. He came in in a black beanie. That's weird. I thought Homer wanted to say something to me. It's weird when they're having. Stephanie's like, look, Brody, I got a boyfriend here, and he's going to talk to you. <laughs> and then she's like, are you going to talk to him? And he's like, no, I'm not going to talk to him. She's like, damn it. Oh my God. It's raining. So we interrupt the reaction video to bring you a weather update. It's raining along the southern coast of California in San Fernando Valley, expecting it to last about seven mm, minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> and then for the clouds There's to no clear clouds. up and the sun to come back out and for all to be okay. And now back to the show. Dark Child Studios. Ooh, with Brandy. Brandy? Yeah, they set this up. From the bridge. Dare you forget? Oh, I did forget. <laughs> it was this one that we were all. Brandy's so pretty. Uh huh. Going crazy over at the shoot. Who was she married to? It was like in this family, but I don't. I can't find it. I don't know. I can't find it. Didn't she go to prom with Kobe? This is it. That's the one, right there. That's great. I think that's the album. Do you want to sing um, "The Boy Is Mine" and you can be Brandy and I can be yeah. Monica? Or is it? Yeah, it's Monica, Monica right? Yeah. The boy is, is mine. mine. Don't need the to be confused. I oh, had, had a bad enough. It's, a, uh, uh, it's not hard to see. The, the 
boy is mine. I'm sorry that you seem to be confused. Seem to be confused. He belongs to me. He belongs to me. Is mine. Yeah, we did our own version. So Rocka. Yes. I need you to do one more. Had about enough. Adriana's like, can you just sing the boy is mine? Alright. How'd it go with Corey last night? He's really nice. It's just my heart's like not there. Oh, he is on a motorcycle. <laughs> Why would anyone want to ride a motorcycle like this all the time? Isn't that uncomfortable? You're like, uh, for hours? I know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But also when she just walked up, he was like. <laughs> Let me see, I love what he does. I love Justin Bobby's little wiggles before scenes. I'm nice, but I'm gonna be mean, I guess. Bill. That's good. He looks like a bobble dog. What have you been up to? Maybe he's cold. Uh -huh. I'm thinking. About what? Probably some of the things that happen in Cabo, you know? Yeah. I didn't want to be that guy, you know what I mean? But. I don't know. I feel like I've just been kind of trying to convince and make myself like someone where it's like someone else is still on my mind. Corey, but t Justin's on mm -hmm. uh... I think we have something special. I just think to be in a relationship, you kind of got to be like together. Now? <laughs> Damn, I mean, it's really wrong. He's gone through the full cycle of Frustrating at times, like sometimes you don't put forth the, as much effort as you should. I know that. I'm very well aware of that. We're a big catch 22. 90% of my time is with you, is, it's pretty right on. It's really good. When I think about you, I don't think of anything negative whatsoever. 90% of his time <laughs> is what? Is what? He's like, 90% of the time, it's 60% great. Do you want to be together or not, Doc? Like, that's all you need He's to say. He's so confusing. I can't stand it. With you, it's, it's pretty right on. It's really good. Pretty radical. I don't think of anything negative whatsoever. Do you want to date me? Yeah, so where does that leave me? I will pretty much always be there for you. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, I'll pretty much always be there. Like, I, I'm not gonna help you move because what if I'm out of town? But otherwise, I'm 90% there. Oh my God. I just don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah, blame you. I want you to be with me. Oh. What do you say? I want you to be with me. <laughs> He's afraid of rejection. Oh my God. She's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Right? She's like jumping out of her skin. <laughs> okay, so they're committed to being together. Seems like it. How do we want to organize this? Do you want me to hand them to you? Yeah, yeah, just separate them and then give me one page of each and I'll put them in. Okay, perfect. Mm, presentation. It was cool, right? I felt. Bad, like walking out. Justin. Justin was you there. need to tell me how that went. It's just he said all the right things, and maybe I don't think he would do that just to play with me, especially coming to work. You know. But well, you care about where you want to end it with him, though. Like, there's a reason for that every time, and he can't just keep coming and sweeping you off your feet. Yes, he can. Mm -hmm. He's got a motorcycle. See those things if he didn't really care. Well, I think that he gets scared. Did he are. Mm -hmm. He'll lose you, and he likes when. He feels like he's got you wrapped around his finger. You know? Yeah. I know, but this time, like, just what he said. No, but he said it last time, too. I don't know. There's something that Justin and I have that I that no one else that I've met, like, we don't have that connection or chemistry. So you feel like with Corey, there's just no real connection? Ugh, I meant you went on to marry him. You fall back into the same trap you've fallen back into 15 times before. I mean, I thought you were done. 
I know, it's hard. She didn't have any pores on her face. No, her skin her skin is still like that too. He would be good to you, you know? It's like one piece of paper just... Corey down and be like, I, you've been nothing but fantastic, but I don't want to be with you at all. She's not answering her. The producers could have been like, you gotta s just, just keep going with Justin. Yeah, and it's true, it's true. She didn't reply. But do you think she really doesn't have any feelings for Corey? Do you think that's real? Or she could just be making that up too? No, no, that's what I'm saying. She she doesn't explicitly say she doesn't have feelings for Corey when, when Kiara asks. She's kind of silent on that. She like is leaving a little room like she does have feelings for okay. Corey. But I do believe that she likes Justin yeah, definitely. more. Yeah. But I but I think it's because he's done a good job of, you know, messing with her mm -hmm. her brains. Manipulating her. Yeah. Hello, little lady. This should be fun. I hate hanging out with both of you. <laughs> Uh, Spencer, you've new aggressive facial hair and <laughs> sunglasses. Now we're on uh, Stephanie Cameron time, which is 40 minutes late usually. Where is Cameron? I thought we were all having lunch. Um, he decided not to come. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> How are you going to flake out on brunch? You just don't want to get grilled. That is so Look, Can he like trim those hairs like going over his lips? This is why he's not coming. Yeah, <laughs> this guy sucks. This is why no one wants to hang out with you. I have no idea. I like Cameron's just like a really nice guy and like we went to Crown Bar last night so we could meet like the girls and stuff and. Did Brody go? Yeah. Let me guess. He didn't stand up for you. You guys. Well, Brody didn't do anything. Yeah. He like, didn't want to instigate. Inside. Wanted to. What would you say? I didn't even know what to say. I'm not a fight starter. It's not a fight. You said your boyfriend, hey, yeah. that's the guy that's made me cry twice. I mean, if you're trying to get your- Wait, every time I leave, like, a meal with you guys, I, like, want to break up with him. There you go. No, I mean, This Cameron... is a weird story. Though. Yeah, it is. But also, like, Cameron didn't need to instigate something. No. If he, he was like, if he says something to you, I'll defend you. Yeah, but he didn't need to start shit no. with him. I did bring you a little something. What? It's nothing crazy, so relax. <laughs> Just relax. Corey, little koala bear. Yeah. That's so cute. Thank you. Is this from Australia? Sweet. Aw, I'm gonna keep this forever. So when do you go back to Australia in December? Yeah, I get home like Christmas Eve. Just right in time for Chrissy and then hang out for maybe two months. I Chrissy. Think. Long time, but have you got Australians time? have you nicknames just, for everything. You can just like hang out every day. Did you just invite me to Australia? For sure. Beach time, just chilling out. Well, see, I can't promise right now. I don't know. It's, it's tough trying to get time together. And... I feel like our schedules are so crazy and different. And... I think things just aren't working out. Oh, that was, was ADR. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. No. I just feel like we've kind of been moving too fast. And oh. oh, that's real. <laughs> so, um, like, what's up with Justin? Fair. It's just I feel like he's in and out of my life, but I feel like I need to go back to him. Do you know, you're like just... one of the greatest guys I've ever met, and I don't. You know, I want you to be a part of my life, but right now, someone else still has my heart. Also ADR. Oh, this is so, this is so hard for me to... I'm not gonna... I don't know. Get emotional about it. Yep. So, what do you reckon? You wanna get out of here? Dumpsville. He's sad. Population. Cody. It's good seeing you. It's always good. Um, Hi. Hard to react I know. to Corey because, like, we know some. Some gossip after the fact, but right now, 
I'm feeling bad for I him. I feel bad for him too. But that conversation was also so choppy. Very I can't choppy. tell what she actually said and what she didn't. Well, let's not react. Okay. You know what I mean? That's very choppalicious. Maybe people know though the behind the scenes drums of if they actually broke up or not. Leave it in the C-section. <laughs> Comments. Did you just make that up? Earlier. That's good. Thanks, babe. I'm a natural YouTuber. You're a comedian, bro. YouTube comedian. Place, and I'm gonna be moving out soon. Uh, drop it. You know, I told you I was looking for a house. Yeah. I found one. It's awesome. No. She's been looking. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break up with you. <laughs> Whitney, oh, yeah. missed you in that episode. Mm -hmm. Justin, to move in with Justin, it's not gonna be like our other event. There she is. Yeah. You're gonna be here, right? Of course, I'll be here. Can I get another tequila? <laughs> I'm so wasted. Were you guys drinking? That's not okay. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Were you guys drinking? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, no, I was. Is that bad? Someone there, you've kind of been that person. You've been that person too. Drive safe. Okay, just leave. She's. Did you drop your key? Give us. Give us your key. Actually, I'm a little sad. Give me your key. I was like, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Need your key. I'm gonna need your key. What are you it's playing the guitar. smallest banjo ever? <laughs> Great sewed. Great sewed. For us. I don't even know about the show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in conclusion, thank you for joining <laughs> us for another episode of this videos and the reactions that we do to them. Uh, stay tuned next time. For uh, us in this outfit. You know what people really want? To be like, we're gonna roll into a next one and then give them like a double. Uh, uh, oh, we have to would, plan ahead. Yes, when he's very busy. When you're touching your leg? No, yeah. Yeah. A part of my hip. Your whole ass cheek is out. Like, what pants are you wearing? I'm not. Oh, you no, don't have to. I mean, I don't care. They're, bite, they're like really small shorts. Okay. I know. It looks like a diaper. This is your butt right here. I have my hand on your butt. All right. Thanks, guys. We care deeply for we you. We do. We do. Peace in the streets. Peace See you into next the streets. Time on the, the reaction to the house.